Hello, welcome back to the Arturia Jupiter 8 video series. Today we're dealing with assigned modes, which is all about polyphony and the ordering of how keys are played on the instrument. All of the stuff that we've done so far has been basically the simplest polyphonic modes. Play some keys, hear those sounds, really simple. That's polyphony mode one. The difference between polyphony mode one and two is all to do with uh, the release phase of the envelope. Uh, and I can demonstrate this pretty easily. At the moment we've got um, VCO1. So let's give it some release. Okay, nice and easy. So if I play all of those notes are overlapping each other up to the polyphony. Uh, you can never exceed the polyphony under any circumstances via any means. So when we get to 8, we're going to start throwing stuff away. But up until that point, it can play all of those notes overlapped. When we go into polyphony mode 2, as soon as you play a new note, any previous release cycles are cancelled. So that will ring for the entire length of the note if that's the only note I play. It's only playing one note at a time. That's it. That's the only difference between those two. I'll just jump over this one to deal with solo next. This is the next easiest. This is a monophonic mode. So if I play three, I'm holding all three notes down on the keyboard. You can see there, but we only ever hear one. We hear the last note. I'll just bring this release down a little bit. So then I'm holding all five keys down, but you only hear the last note. Classic monophonic synthesizer behavior. Before we go on to deal with unison, we'll have a look at the different modes of the monophonic instrument. We've got play mode last here. That means that each time I play a new note, that's the one you hear. But we can also have priority mode low. Now, if I hold a C and then a, a, an E above it, we're not going to hear that E until I let go of the C. So, however many keys we've got held down, it will always give priority to the lowest note. And that means as you travel up an arpeggio, you don't hear any of those high notes. But if I travel down, holding all the keys down, hear every subsequent lowest note. Whatever the new lowest note is, that's the thing that gets played. And high is exactly the opposite. Now I'm holding all the keys down, and we hear all the ascending high notes. Uh, if we do the opposite, we only hear the highest notes because the lowest notes don't have priority. Pretty much, well not always, but play mode last is far and away the most common. Because the last thing you play, you want to hear it. You just press that note, you want to hear it. Unison mode is an odd one. On other synthesizers, uh, unison means it's, a, it's a, a variant of solo mode, where if you've got eight note polyphony, you play a single note, all eight notes will get stacked into the same key. So it's still a monophonic instrument, but you get to hear a thicker, richer sound. That's not how the Jupiter interprets the word unison. What you get is you still have a polyphonic instrument. So I'm in unison mode here, one, two, three. We're hearing all of those notes. On the Jupiter 8, uh, what unison mode means is that you've still got a polyphonic instrument. Don't think of it as monophonic, it's not. But every note that you play will use more than one voice. So in unison mode, in this configuration where we've got unison two, poly eight, what that means is that up to the maximum polyphony of eight notes, two voices will be played for every key. So that sound there is richer than that sound. That's a single voice. That's two voices. In addition to being able to stack more voices into the same note, you can then apply detune between those voices to get some really rich, um, it's called unison detune, but it's, it's in the family of 
chorus and flange effects. tune away you'll still get a little bit of it but much less so when you stack voices in the Jupiter 8 just by virtue of its circuitry there is natural variance in the oscillators they they do have um, an inherent uh, detune to bear in mind that if you're using four voices for a single note and you have eight note polyphony you can only play two notes at a time just through the low note away you can see me holding three keys down the lowest note is being abandoned it's not there As we travel up. It's one of the reasons why uh, the, you get 32 note polyphony as an option. You don't have 32 fingers. That's all about the, um, the unison options and also as we saw in the last video the fact that you've got uh, dual mode uh, where you can layer two instances of the of the, the sound module on top of each other. So those combinations of sounds give you the potential for more uh, voices than, than you have fingers. Switch back to our simple poly mode. Let's have a quick look at these hold buttons. Uh, these basically disable the release cycle. So when you press a key down, it will stay held. They're dependent on what your key mode is. If I click this low button, it doesn't matter how many times I click it, it's not going to activate because at the moment we're in um, whole mode, which means there is no low panel. If I engage the upper button, now if I hold a key, the release cycle, the release phase of the envelope has been disabled. If I enter split mode, I get different hold options for the upper and lower range. So if I engage just uh, hold on the upper mode, it will hold that key because it's above the split point. But all the lower notes don't have hold, obviously. We can invert that logic. In dual mode, you're either on or you're off. Doesn't matter which of these buttons you press, they're linked. So you can't engage hold for half of dual mode, either upper or lower, and not the other half. So we're traveling backwards through these uh, keyboard option buttons down here. We've done key mode in the previous video. Uh, now we've just dealt with assign mode. And in the next video, we'll deal with the arpeggiator and see what that can do. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please consider subscribing, hit notifications. Then you'll find out when the next episode comes out. I hope to see you then. Thanks a lot.